the book. Uh, today I'm making crab cakes and I'm also going to be talking about the fairy giant. So for the crab cakes we're going to start with um, some green pepper and uh, uh, we're just going to get this started cooking. So um, the fairy giant is actually a uh, work of fiction. Um, which I know is, is different. I'm sort of in a rut. Um, but anyway, uh, it is the story of an older couple uh, who go on a quest. Um, it's set in like, sort of, I can't tell if, you know, it's, it's sort of historical. It's set in historical uh, Great Britain um, in a time, you know, with dragons and King Arthur and whatnot. Um, I I don't know like a lot about um, a lot about history to know whether um, you know what what parts of it are real or not. Um, obviously, dragons aren't real, um, but in the story, they have uh, two separate clans, like two separate groups of people. Like there's one group of people. I'm using a little bit of butter. I'm going to put it in this pan and I'm just going to fry up the uh, green pepper uh, real quick. Um, so there's one group of people who live in villages. So that would be like, um, you know, people that we would sort of recognize. And then there's another group of people who live in um, that live under the ground, like in like warrens. Um, and it, the story is about one couple who lives under the ground, and they um, leave to try to find their son. Uh, so I'm um, going to use canned crab meat. I'm going to use one can of crab meat. And uh, the recipe calls for cracker crumbs. So this is always a favorite, crunching up the cracker crumbs. Um, so this couple embarks on this journey, and then as the story progresses, you sort of learn uh, that there is this myth that is making people forget um, everything. They forget, you know, they lose their memories. And so then the, the story almost becomes like, a, a question, like, who are we without our memories? Um, they have this one uh, scene in which uh, this woman is trying to cross a river and she has to remember, um, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, she has to remember uh, the best time that she had with her husband or she has to leave her husband behind. And um, she ends up having to leave her husband behind. They get separated because they can't remember any, they have no fond memories. Um, one tablespoon of mustard. And um, so then that like sets up at the end, like it's this couple and they're very loving. Like uh, the, the gentleman calls his wife princess. You know, I mean, like, if you imagine like a little old couple and uh, She's always like paying attention to him and like, you know, where are you? Make sure that you're still behind me. And he, you know, he's like, I'm still here, princess. And, um, you know, and then, uh, so we got two tablespoons of milk. Um, and then you're wondering, you know, are they going to survive? Because they're such a loving couple. And then like, what is this myth? Like, why are people forgetting? Um, okay, so, oh, this, this calls for two egg whites. I'm just going to use one egg. You can use two egg whites if you want to reduce the calories in this recipe. But I'm just going to use one egg. And then uh, we are going to use some spices. So I'm going to use um, paprika. I use paprika in everything. Um, it's a good spice. I'm going to use some cumin. Cumin's also something that I use in everything. And uh, let's do some turmeric. 
Turmeric's also good. This is like the Arabic five spice that's going in this right now. And uh, no cinnamon. <laughs> that would be silly. I'm going to use some pepper and some salt.
Mm -hmm. Liberty and justice for all.